Now in this lesson we look at the sine rule. Now we use the sine rule when working with non-right angled triangles. So we'll consider the triangle here ABC. There's angle A directly opposite that, we name that side little a. Angle B there, directly opposite that, that side we name as little b. And in a similar way, angle C, directly opposite that, we name that side little c. Now the sine rule, when finding a side, states that A over sine A is equal to B over sine B, which in turn equals C over sine C. But to solve these problems, we only ever use one fraction equal to another fraction. Okay, we skip that third one. So let's look at some examples. The first one, we need to find x, giving your answer to one decimal place. Well, there's the sine rule there. Now there's x. Directly opposite that is the 40 degrees. And that's what we do with a sine rule. We try to match up the sides with the opposite angle. So that's a match. That 12 degrees matches with 78 degrees. And because we know both of those, that helps us to determine that, yes, we're going to use the sine rule. So x, as we said, matches with 40 degrees. So we write x over sine 40. And the 12 matches with 78 degrees. So we write it equals 12 over sine 78 degrees. We'll just rewrite that because we're going to do some cancelling down. We're trying to find x at the moment. It's being divided by sine 40 degrees. So let's multiply both sides by the sine 40. On the left hand side they will cancel. So we do get x by itself. Terrific. And on the calculator 12 divided by sine 78 times sine of 40, making sure your calculator is in degrees mode, should work out to be 7.9 to one decimal place. Now, question two, we're asked to find the size of angle Z. Okay, so this time a bit different. We're finding an angle rather than a side. We need to answer to the nearest minute. So the sine rule when finding an angle simply has the angles on the top. Okay, the sine of A on the top, the sine of B on the top. So it's just like the previous one, just with the fractions flipped over. So we're after angle Z. So there's our angle. It's matching with the 9.4. And the 70 degrees matches with the 11.6. So there's our first match. Sine Z over 9.4, we've written that. And then the other match, so it equals sine of 70 degrees over 11.6. Now let's rewrite that. Bit of cancelling down to be done. We want the sine z by itself, so let's get rid of that 9.4. At the moment it's dividing, so let's multiply both sides by 9.4. On the left hand side they'll cancel, so we get the sine z equals, and again using the calculator, 0 0.761475. Now we need to find z. At the moment we've taken the sine of it, the opposite, we need to take the inverse sine, okay? On the calculator, often shift sine. When we do that, we get z equals 49 degrees and 36 minutes rounded to the nearest minute. Now, we just go back here for a moment just to be aware that we may get an obtuse angle as a result. We may. So let's just shift this up a little bit so we've got some more room. Remember the all stations to central. Now sine is positive in the top two quadrants, the first and second. So we've already got our acute answer, but it could also be obtuse. So let's consider this. If we mark in the 4936 in each of those quadrants, starting from 0, there's 90, there's 180. We don't need to go any further. The first answer there, 49 degrees 36, well that's the answer we got. The other answer that's possible, starting from 0, right around there, which if you think about it, it's like going to 180 and then back 49.36, we'd get that z equals 130 degrees, 24 minutes. Now that, of course, is an obtuse angle. But the angle we want is angle z there. If one of the other angles is 70, we're adding up them so far, that's more than 200 degrees, okay? It wouldn't quite fit in the triangle, okay? It'd be a bit squishy. No, so really, there's no answer there this time, okay? So it's not possible in this case. However, be aware that sometimes the obtuse angle is also an acceptable answer, all right? But you'll need to check that in on your diagram. Excellent.